Hey friends, welcome back to another video. My name is Emma LaFave. This is my little guy, Miles. He's joining me for my intros today because he woke up from his nap and this is the time I have to do it. Right? Are you going to be helpful? No, that's his way of saying no. But today I wanted to share a video with you. I got together with Jillian from Crafty Fox, also known as the channel Brush Movement here on YouTube. And she's been doing this summer watercolor challenge of, paint of painting different flowers of different colors. And I've been joining her. And then for the last week, and for the last week of this month, I joined her to paint pink flowers. I'm also gonna share a little bit of our conversation, but I wanna make sure you guys head over to her channel to check out more conversation. It was such a fun time painting and chatting with her about YouTube, motherhood, balancing the two. It was just a really great conversation. So make sure to check that out. I'll put it in the description below. Wanna play with my kneaded eraser? This thing is cool. Just don't eat it. So yeah, let's just jump into the video because I don't know how much more I can say right now. Okay, so I want to I want to ask you questions because I feel like I don't know enough yeah. about you. So when yeah, you were a psychologist, yes, I was. So and what you did know, you? Do? I just um, so I've been working with kids. Mm -hmm. I work with I work in a clinic that specializes in ADHD actually. So so yeah, I've been working with kids with ADHD and. And I used to go to schools to support them in the schools. And it's been oh. really fun because you get to see them in, in the wild. <laughs> yeah. And, and um, I think it's also different. Like you get the dynamics of the kids in the schools. And because mm -hmm. kids with at home is very different from kids in the schools. Yeah. So, so I, think, sure. I think, I think, I think. Um, I really enjoyed the community work, but then I eventually just stuck to the clinic. Like I stayed in the clinic um, mm -hmm. and, and then I had kids and then, but I did watercolor. I did watercolor before I had kids. Okay. I, yeah. So I, I was doing watercolor um, like early 2016. Okay. Yeah. Is that and, when, what and, made you start? Yeah, I started because so it was very random. I I went to I I was on I was on leave with a friend like we were not working and then she we walked past this art store and she was like, "Oh, you know, brush lettering is so in now. Shall mm -hmm. we just um get go look for like some brush lettering stuff?" But we couldn't find anything. Um so so then she was like, "Oh, let's just go go get some sketchbooks and we would just go sketching." So we went to a park and started sketching flowers. And then, and then from there, I was like, oh, this is so fun. Like, what else can we do, mm. you know? And then that's when I decided to pick out um, watercolors. And I started off with um, this really bad, like, almost like a kid's set, I think. Yeah, me too. Uh, and me too. But it was so fun. It was, it was really the best thing ever. Like, I was so addicted to it. Like, it was even better than brush lettering. Yeah, like, brush I lettering started off with fun. brush lettering as well. That's yeah, totally, yeah, totally, yeah. That's what I was like. Oh, I want to try this. And then I went to a workshop where they did it. It was like half brush lettering and half watercolor. And then once I tried the watercolor, I was like, "Yep, in love." And then I just became yeah. obsessed. Exactly, exactly. And watercolor is, um, I don't know, man. It's just I. I think it's the whole like water and and all of it, you know. Um, mm -hmm. And and at a time, I was actually I was actually going through fertility treatment. So like. My husband okay. and I were struggling to conceive. So then, then the watercolor really was a new distraction for me. Because before yep. that, I would be like obsessing about getting pregnant and all of that. And it didn't happen. Mm -hmm. So watercolor was like a new Google um, yeah. topic. Otherwise, I would be Googling like all the fertility medicines and stuff like that. Yep. So it was it was good. I mean, I think because of watercolor, I probably got pregnant um, yeah. eventually. Um, uh -huh. which is good and like it was it was really my namaste <laughs> yeah yeah I feel was. like that's why a lot of people start is like they're struggling mentally with yeah. something exactly you know and they just exactly. need an outlet and mm. that's what it was for me too like I was yeah so I was going through like a really bad depression like anxiety I, I wouldn't leave the house except to go to work Ooh. and then 
I just, I much. went to a, an art store to a, a Michael's store one day and I was like, I'm just going to try. And like, I, I used to paint, like I went to an arts high school oh, yeah. and for visual arts and I hated it. So then I didn't really do yeah. much of that, <laughs> but I remember like, oh yeah, I really like looking at art supplies. So I just went and looked at some art supplies, picked up some like really cheap watercolors and then came home and tried. And I was like, oh, I really enjoy this. So then I just kept doing yeah. that over and over, and over again. And it was just like, it became an obsession. <laughs> I know. I was, Tell me about, about the it. next time I could paint. And I was like, I want to go home and paint. I don't want to be doing anything else. Exactly. Exactly. Um, and that was all I was thinking about too. And then, um, but when I had my kids, I was so tired. Like I was so tired oh, yeah. and I couldn't, I couldn't paint anymore. I just, yeah. It was just like, and, and, and honestly, I think I was also struggling with imposter syndrome. Mm -hmm. Like I was struggling with the, like I was following so many YouTube tutorials and I couldn't find my own footing anymore, like my own direction. Yeah. I just felt like I was trying to find where I was in the um, whole painting space. Yeah. Um, and like people were asking me to do wedding invitations and all of that. It was really nice, but a part of me felt like like really imposter syndrome feeling because I felt like, oh, all of this is like not really my style. Like I'm following mm -hmm. somebody else's style and like I'm selling it, you know, that those kind of feelings. So yeah, yeah I couldn't after a while I, I just I just stopped and then I decided like, okay, never mind. I'm just gonna focus on this motherhood thing. Um but I think deep down it was really this imposter syndrome thing, mm -hmm. which well never goes away, of course. It doesn't um, go away at all no it never goes away and nobody talks about it really I think um yeah. it's 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 there and you always feel like oh no like uh what if what if you know um but I think I think overall like um after I took a break I'd say I don't know I think motherhood kind of made me more sure of myself or something yeah and I just I just decided to just paint because I love it mm -hmm. right and and I just did it and yeah I mean it's it's it, and this is what I'm doing right now and and literally I think now painting is saving me because um it gives me energy otherwise I'd be so even more tired it's it's hard when you become a parent too because I feel like for me I it lost is. my identity once I became a mom and it was like yeah it kind of yeah rocked me to my core and I'm like what else am I besides like a food source for this baby yes <laughs> hundred you know what I mean I'm 100%. doing absolutely nothing else with myself so anytime he'd go to nap and I could do something for myself and it was painting I was like oh thank god right you just you find the self yeah. sense of identity once you have something for yeah. yourself because all I was doing was focusing completely on him which isn't a bad thing but it's also exhausting yes and you know the funny thing about this motherhood thing is that I feel like so when I was watercoloring before I had kids Mm -hmm. I would just paint everything in one layer. I was a fast painter. The funny yeah. thing is I was a fast painter when I had no kids. <laughs> yeah. And I became a slow painter. <laughs> when and now I that you kids. actually could use that time, you're like. <laughs> yeah. So that's the funny thing. And yeah, so. So and and in the past, like when I was just painting for myself without the kids, mm -hmm. right, I would. I would paint a lot quicker and I always used to just paint in one layer. Mm -hmm. And somehow, because the kids always interrupt me, I discovered mm -hmm. doing these layers. Oh, that's So smart. if not for my kids, like I would not have had discovered it. Like because, you know, they interrupted me and I had to come back to it. So I could never finish my painting in one sitting. So, mm -hmm. so, so this is the fun thing. Like, I feel like, um, like I, I discovered at least the style that I paint in because of my kids, really. That's, that's so funny. <laughs> so where are you at right now with your flower, actually? That's I think so I'm done. I just keep adding more well. to it. I'm not going to lie. I'm very intimidated to show you because like imposter syndrome is so real. No. I'm like yours is always so good like your style is what I want mine to look like and it never does look like that so I'm like I don't no. want to compare it right now I'm so no. nervous like this isn't usually uh, my go-to thing so I'm so nervous okay oh How are you? no great I've, I've yeah I've tried to add but, detail but I'm like I don't know if I did this right <laughs> yeah I'm so 
insecure about it sometimes so no okay but, okay <laughs> i want to see your painting all right let's see um i think i'm i think i'm done i think okay, i'm done let's go <laughs> i well i like wow. yours oh so i'm gonna I'm add more stuff yeah around and we'll see i like yours see i'm just gonna do my all three of them across this sketch okay 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 that's awesome Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I really hope you guys enjoyed some clips of my chat with Jillian. Please go over to her channel, hit her subscribe button. You won't be sorry. She's an incredible teacher. I love her style and I love showcasing artists on here that I personally love myself. Chatting with another fellow artist and fellow mom has been awesome and I personally love learning from her myself. So make sure you head over to her channel to watch how she paints her three pink flowers and then stay tuned for later this week where I'm going to show you step by step of how I painted my pink flowers. Again, I really hope you guys enjoyed yourself and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys!